everyone, I'm Beth and I'm glad to have you back with me. And this is going to be a little bit of a long video. It's a get ready with me, but it's very special because this is all makeup from the recent Emily Awards. And I just saw the last one last night. I think it was the last one. And I went out this morning to Walmart and Walgreens and spent about $120, but I got a ton of makeup. Let me show you what I have in front of me. And as you can see, there are a lot of Emily Award winners there. And then the ones I haven't used yet are over here in this little box. And I'm going to be keeping all of the Emily Award winners in a box because I've realized that I am retirement age. I am 64 years old. I'll be 65 in April. And a lot of my a lot of my viewers are older and they are heading into retirement. And this year I really want to focus on makeup that doesn't break the bank. Because when I watched those Emily Awards, I was really stricken by one thing, and that is that she uses everything out there. Every product, pretty much, she is using, or at least maybe 80% of them. And she uses drugstore and she uses high-end but you can tell by how many drugstore award winners she has. She really does favor the drugstore makeup and I think that's just awesome. And let me know if you also love drugstore makeup and if you would like to see me do more great looks with the Emily Award winners because I think they're proven winners. So they're not something that when you go out and buy them, you're going to use once. They are really great products you will use and enjoy for a long time to come. And I have my I Am Fabulous mug. I used to have a mug that says, I am enough. And someone out there says, Beth, why don't you have a mug that says, I am fabulous. And at first I rebelled against that. And then I thought, no, heck, I am going to be fabulous. Just for today, that is my goal to be 1% more fabulous than the day before. And that 1% comes from the end of my video. I just shot the end of my video because I started with no makeup this morning. But I'm going to choose a card from my new Mind of a Champion cards. And if you really want to improve your life on a little by little, day by day basis, I think those cards could help. But in other words, get a beverage because it'll be a little, little lengthy here, maybe. And I have to say, I am so excited to share this makeup with you. Everything in this video is from the Emily Awards. And thank you, Emily Noel. You are like, what is it? What are those paintings? Oh, what are those paintings that we all love? Norman Rockwell, Norman Rockwell paintings. Her videos are just like a slice of Norman Rockwell with her beautiful little girls and her great husband and a little bit of mess around the house every now and then, which is normal living. Thank you, Emily Noel, for all the love you're sharing and certainly for all these great award winners. And before I get into that, I will show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. And actually, this is a picture that was taken last night because I have two girlfriends that are really close to me and we try to do lunch once a month or actually it's dinner once a month. And so we did dinner last night at my house. I bought in Asian food from this one restaurant that we all love and we had a wonderful time. And this is a long red sweater dress. I love this dress and I have it in like four different colors and I'll link it below. I have it in the color small. It actually comes in extra small, but if you're about a size four, which is me, don't get the extra small. I ordered that and I felt like a sausage. Okay, let's get into this great Emily Noel makeup. Okay, let's get this party started. And I'm going to start out with this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion Primer. And at least Emily Noel said it was a primer and it scares me to death because it says the word Lumi in it. And I am a, an oily girl. <laughs> I uh, am kind of like a revolving oil slick. Not as bad as I was in my younger years, I have to admit. Once I turned 60, things calmed down a little bit in terms of my facial oil. But I do think it is one of the main reasons, that and sun avoidance, why my skin looks pretty good for my age. I traded pimples up until I was 60 for you know, pretty nice skin after I was 60, which I'm so happy about. Okay, let me find my foundation brush. And it was so clean, I just cleaned it before this video. It was so clean, I did not recognize it. That's scary. I need to clean my brushes more. And Emily Noel recommended this Wet n Wild Photo Focus, Photo Focus Fini Naturel uh, setting spray. And she also likes the Urban Decay setting spray, which I love but the Urban Decay is, is really a very expensive product. However, it is wonderful. Ooh, this is working out nicely. I like this. Very, very nice, very smooth. That primer does not look overly glowy, even though it's called a Glotion. And I should really tie my hair back up or at least put a couple of clips up there, but my hair keeps the clip marks in there all day. 
it's like almost impossible without restyling my whole hair and going into the shower and getting it all wet to get out those little those little bobby pin marks. So anyway, there is that primer. Ooh, I think I like that little bit of glow. Very, very pretty. Ooh, I forgot my foundation. Be right back. Okay, here it is, and it is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in Buff is the color that I use. And I absolutely love this, and I was so happy when Emily Noel said it was on the award-winning list for this year. I'll just take a little bit here and here. Um, because I have used it probably since the beginning of my channel. It is absolutely, I would say, probably my favorite drugstore foundation because its name is Healthy Skin, and that is exactly what it does for one. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz this again with a Wet n Wild setting spray, and I'll just go around and smooth that out. This foundation is just totally lovely, very, very skin-like. Here we go. This, this uh, brush is a little bit wet from my having washed it this morning, so I hope that's not going to impact the makeup any. So far, it feels colder and cooler than normal, but not too much difference, actually, from anything else I usually use on days when I have not washed the brush. Okay, very, very pretty foundation. I love that. Okay, what is next? What is next? Oh, okay. The under eye concealer is next, and this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the color Light Beige. And I actually already own this, as probably everyone out there does. I went to Walmart, though, this morning and bought two more different colors. One of them was extremely light, and I don't like the look of that. I like a little bit of a lighter look under your eyes, but I don't like it to look like, wah, you know, that you purposefully put white under there. You know, I don't like using that. I'm going to use, oh, there it is, okay. And I did spritz this with a little bit of setting spray. And I just think it helps things blend out nicely. This may be a real, a real McCoy. What is this thing called? Um, I can't remember, but I think it could also be a dupe though. Sometimes my memory lately really kind of scares me. But look how beautiful that looks under the eyes. Very, very pretty. And that is not the super light one. That is one that more matches my skin color. Now, I was very excited to try this, and I guess this would be next. Oh, I didn't do my eyes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't do my eyes. Okay, well, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going the way we're going. And by the way, my, my eyebrows are the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in Blonde. I love this. It was not on her list, but I did it before I got on camera. Love that. And then I use the NYX Control Freak Setting Spray, which I think is great too. So I'm going to go ahead, normally I do my eyes first because of fallout, but I've done my foundation and it really does look pretty. <laughs> Although I wish I could have gone down my neck because when I do this, you can tell it, it looks a little different. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some of this powder and I was super excited that uh, Walgreens had this this morning because I heard another YouTuber mention this powder as being a dupe for the Laura Geller Translucent Powder, which we all love. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Okay, now I'll just, Tamp a little bit of that into the into the lid there. There it is. It looks very similar to any other high-end powder. Then I'll just go in and set my under eyes with it. Very nice. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's beautiful. And it is supposedly kind of a blurring effect powder, much like the Laura Geller type powders and also the Charlotte Tilbury's especially. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. I like that powder. Very nice. I am really glad Emily pointed that out because I had wanted to purchase that. Okay, now let's go ahead and get back into the eyes since I omitted them. Okay, now it's time for eyeshadow. And of course, Emily always loves the Milani primer and here it is. And I think it's about $6 and it lasts forever. And I love it too. It really helps the eyeshadow adhere. I had a difficult problem with it though earlier and I kind of stopped using it for a higher end and that is that it seemed to be so good that I would get eyeshadow that I couldn't even hardly get off at night that was stuck in this area. And I'd wake up the next morning with eyeshadow in this area. So I'm just trying to apply it a little more sparingly to the inner corner there, which is sad because it is nice to have a little primer in that inner corner. But I think this stuff really is like cement a little bit. So you have to be a little careful not to overdo it. It's probably a little bit too good. 
So that is the Milani Primer. Now for eyeshadow, Emily Noel swears by the Wet n Wild palettes, and these are the 10 pan palettes, and she especially likes this one. Which one is it? Nude Awakening, there it is, very, very pretty. And this one I decided to get too, and I'm gonna try it today. It is called Lights Off, Lights Off, and it has some really pretty, a little bit of shimmer, and some darker tones in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm using the Emily Noel set here. And this is a mix between the Angie Hot and Flashy set and, oh, I'm also going in with that lightest color there. It's a mix of the Angie Hot and Flashy set and then just her general, her general brush set. I use them kind of interchangeably back and forth. Do the other side there. Very, very pretty base color. Sometimes I think it's nice to run the brow color clear over the over the eyelid because then you have a nice even palette to work with and I have a lot of black on the inside of my eyes here. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit on the lid and I think I'll add this shimmery color here which is I think just beautiful. Oh my oh that is pretty. It's kind of scary. Maybe I'll mix it with this lighter color here. So there are those two colors see they're pretty. This one looks like it could get away a little bit more with being a daytime color. I like drama. I really do. It was such a big deal when I was a little girl. It, we had to be in seventh grade in my household before we were allowed to wear makeup. And it's like I went from no makeup and hairy legs in sixth grade to in seventh grade, like full face of heavy makeup you know, the CoverGirl pink blush, the blue eyeshadow. Also, I got to shave my legs, which was amazing because I was a very hairy little devil when I was a little kid. Okay, ooh, that's very pretty. I like that. Okay, now for the crease color, I'm going to go into this really pretty little brown color. Ooh, it's kind of a grayish brown. I think it's lovely and it is matte, which makes it nice. And what I'm going to do is I have a merchandise return card from Gap with $15 on it from years ago. And I'm just going to use this to keep my to keep my eyeshadow where it needs to be, to give me a little bit of a, a V effect out there. Ooh, that's pretty. And boy, that, that's pigmented. That goes on very well. Very, very pretty eyeshadow. Now that's very, very pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and take a big blender brush and just kind of blend in the top edge between the crease color and the brow. Very pretty, but this is the problem with not doing your eyes first, and that is that I have fallout down here. So I'm going to go get my wipes and clean that up a little bit. Okay, here we go. I'll try to do it without ruining my under eyes. So that helped. Let me try it over here. Okay, that looks a little better, like that. Okay, now the last thing she said is, there is this eyeliner, and I did not have just a normal eyeliner that was an Emily Award winner. This one she specifically said was for the under eye area, and she said it's nice if you want a little shadow under your eye, but that the shadow doesn't last, to use this NYX Smoke Liner. Yes, Epic Smoke Liner in the color Nude Haze. Oof under the eyes. So we'll go ahead and try that. I've never tried this before. Should be interesting. I want to start it from the outside and go in. Normally I will take a small pencil brush and put a little eyeshadow there. Ooh, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to blend that out a little bit, I would say. That's one thing. Emily Noel has such beautiful, brilliant coloring. She can handle like dramatic makeup, red lips, that kind of thing. And uh, I can't really, not to that extent by any means. Okay, I like it, but I think it does need to be blurred down just a little bit. Here's a pencil brush here. Hope it has nothing on it. I'll just take that and blend that a little bit. Very nice. Yeah, I do like that. Now I have a problem and that is that I did not get an Emily Award winner eyeliner, and I always use the same eyeliner. And girls, I'm afraid to use this on my upper eyes. I'm afraid it's going to be a little too crayon-like, and that it's going to get all smudged. 
I guess that's the idea of a smudge liner though, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this, but I'm not brave enough to do it on camera. Let me go off camera and I'll come back. Okay, there it is. And I'm not sure what I think about it because the triangular tip makes it a little difficult to work with on the upper eyelashes. I really liked it on the lowers though. But let me know in the comment section what you think. It just looks kind of smoked out, I guess. I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, I used it on my uppers. There it is. And it felt very awkward with the triangular tip up there. I'm not used to that in terms of eyeliner. It worked great under my eyes. I really liked it under my eyes. Not sure yet what I think about it over the eyes, but let me know what you think in the comment section. It's almost like it's too smoked out, not sure. Okay, the next Emily Award winner is of course the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. She's loved this for years. I'll go ahead and apply this off camera. Okay, I applied the Lash Paradise off camera. I've got a little bit of a clump here. Where is it? I see in the monitor backwards. So let's go ahead and use my little curved metal lash curler to try to get that clump out of there. I think I did that. Yes, I think I accomplished that. Now I use it over on this side just to kind of spread those lashes out just a little bit. Okay, that is an absolutely lovely mascara. I haven't used it in a while. I'm glad she reminded me of that. Okay, in terms of blush, Emily really swore by these CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones sets. She says they're very undersung heroes that she never hears about. And I meant to go and get one set, but they were really cute and they were $5.97, yay CoverGirl. So I got three of them. This is the most interesting to me, actually the Sophisticate one, and it is very, very neutral looking. I'll go ahead and try that, but then if I don't get enough power from that, because it is going to be a very, a very mild color, then I'll go ahead and go in with either the rose or the peach. Okay, here we go. This will be fun. Let me get one of my BK Beauty brushes and I'm going to go in, let's see how we do this. Hmm, because I've got two colors. Okay, I will go in with the darker color at first, kind of on the bottom. And I'll just bring it in here. Love this triangular shaped brush. Ooh, very pretty, I like that. And it gives you an instant sculpted cheekbone effect, which I think is really pretty, all for $5.97 or something, crazy. Actually, that's a lot of color payoff. Okay, now I'm going to go into this middle color here which is sophisticated sable or whatever it was called, but it is supposed to be a very neutral color. Ooh, that's pretty. I do like that. Very, very pretty. Let me go to the other side. And again, since we're older, we want our cheekbones to look higher. So keep the blush as high in the top of the cheekbones as you can. Don't drag it down to your chin. That's a bad thing. Now I'm just going to buff it a little bit. That's what this brush is good for. You lay down the color like this, and then you buff. You know, it's very pretty, but it is very light. I think I'll add a little more. She says not only are these colors beautiful and versatile because you have three, but that they do last a long time. And I can't attest to that because this is the first time I've used them, but I do think that's really pretty. And I would normally go in and use this little highlighter color Ooh, that is really, really pretty. But I'm very excited about another Emily Noel Award winner, which I actually had, which is the Lumi Glow Nude Palette. Look at that. And very inexpensive. It's L'Oreal. Let me go ahead and find myself a brush. Well, before I use this, I'm going to go in with a little contour. And she didn't have a contour. I think maybe she did have a, a Rimmel contour, but I don't have it. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild because it's very inexpensive and I'll use this contouring palette here and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the contour color and I'm using this Real Techniques brush. Actually, I want to show you another brush. I keep forgetting this, but this is a Lorac brush, which I think I got in one of their um, highlight and contour palettes. Ooh, look how nice that is. You can just sculpt it in a line right where you want your cheekbone to start and end. That's a good color. I like that. And what is this one? It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I don't think it has a color. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. Do a little more there. And I particularly like this brush because you can sculpt like along the sides of the nose because I have not the best nose. I mean, it's a good nose, it's functional. And it's not too wide, but it could be a little straighter. Okay, so I've, I've applied that. Then I'm going to go along 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm tapping off the brush in air, but you need to go along your jawline if you're like me and starting to get a little bit of a jowl there. I am really doing everything I can to avoid a facelift. I've done a few other things and I've got a video about it if you'd like to see what I've done, but I just don't want a facelift. I don't want that, that pulled look. I'm worried about that. Okay, now, and you're gonna say, ooh, that looks terrible, which it does. So what I'm going to do is number one, I'm going to use this Real Techniques sculpting brush to kind of null it down a little bit. Love this brush too, it's great. Then I'm going to go in with just a normal contour brush, and this is from the BK Beauty set. I think that color is a little bit dark for me because I'm pretty fair. Going with a little bit of powder to try to know that down a little bit. But I think that's a nice palette, especially if you're a little darker than me. Now, next I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude Palette. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to pick one of these little radiant colors here. And I guess I'll pick this color. Isn't that, oh, that is so beautiful. Just a little gorgeous highlighter. I'll go down my nose. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty subtle. And then I'll go above the cheekbone. And Emily Noel just took it and put it all around this. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty. And you know, thinking back on glow, that L'Oreal Glotion, that Lumi Glotion, that's a nice primer. And it is not making me look too oily, which I love. Well, that's really, really pretty. Okay, next I'm going to go into the lips, and it's unusual because I've never tried this lip color before, which I'll show you in a minute. We'll see how that goes. But she swore by these Revlon Color Stay lip pencils, and I'm kind of wanting to do a video where I do lip pencil, gloss, lipstick combos. And let me know if you'd like to see that. I'd really like to focus on my lips a little bit because I, I haven't had lip fillers for like two years, and my lips are almost back to their normal, their normal size. And I'm trying to learn to use lip liners better because Alan does not like that overfilled lip look. And I don't think he'd like it if I did it again. And I think you can do it with lip liners. And come in from the outside because you want to round off and fill in the skimpier sides of your lips, right, like right there. And then you come in from the outside on, on both the upper and the lower. Ooh, that's pretty. And this is in the color Nude. And I think this would be super wearable under lots of different lipsticks. And now this is the lip color I have not tried, but this is an Emily Award winner. And this is the Superstay Ink Crayon in the color, in the color Trust Your Gut. And I've had several of these and I think she's right. They're wonderful. I love them. And let me know if you'd like to see more Emily Noel award-winning makeup because I'm in the mood to do more Get Ready With Me. I don't know how you say that. Ooh, that's very pretty. I do like that. It's very nice neutral. Nice neutral color. Now, she also loves the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, and she said she didn't like them at first, but I love them. And I have them in a ton of different colors. And this is one I don't use too much, but she loves it. She says it's great for kind of puffing out the bottom part of your lip. It is called, what is it? It is called Pearl. And it does look like Pearl. That is pretty. I like that. And I also like their shade Crystal, which is a little bit more of a gold to it. Whereas I would say this is a little bit more of a silver, but really, really beautiful. Okay, I think that was a very beautiful, easy to do and easy to wear makeup. Thank you so much, Emily Noel. I continue to love you and love your channel as does everyone else. Okay, now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and this is the Mind of a Champion Affirmations and Daily Actions cards. And I just started using these and I love them because it's not just an affirmation, it is an action. So let's choose one that hopefully will enrich our day. Ooh, this is good. This says, I am making positive changes in my life. I am making positive changes in my life. And then here's the action, 1% better every day. I love that.
Take a look at your daily routine. What is one thing you can do 1% better? Make a commitment to yourself that you will continually do this. Make a commitment to yourself that you will continually do this. You know, friends, I absolutely love this idea and I have mixed emotions about affirmations after using them for many years because I think you just can't sit on the couch and go, oh, I have a million dollars. Thank you, God, I have a million dollars. That doesn't work. You need to have an affirmation like, I am making positive changes in my life, but you also need to couple that with an action. Staying on the couch didn't do anybody any good. And I absolutely love this because it's not like you vow to change, to be 100% in every aspect of your life. You just pick one little area and vow to work on it and be just 1% better every day in that particular area. So friends, just for today, as you're going through your day, don't beat yourself up for any flaws that arise during the day. Just say, hmm, is this an area that I would like to improve in? Okay, then I will be 1% better today and I'll get up and make the decision to be 1% better tomorrow. In that way, day by day, we can lead ourselves into a much better, more productive life. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.